seven o'clock. <laughs> All right. Seeing that at seven on the dot, welcome to the June 11th, 2024, last school board meeting of the school year. Um, can I have a roll call, please? Maggie Larson. Here. Todd Marsh. Here. Carrie Clark. Here. Sarah Brian Hart. Here. Crystal D. St. Croix. Here. Marsha Brown. Here. Barbara Wentworth. Excused. Gemma Soldati. Here. All right. Superintendent, would you like to invite some people up? Well, you want to do the pledge first? Yes. But we oh. want to invite our. Yeah, I'm so pleased that we have three of our wonderful female athletes here tonight. Um, I'm going to invite up Miss Dakota Hall and Miss Abby Brown, who are Seacoast champions for track, and also uh, Saya McKay to come up and lead us in the, in the Pledge of Allegiance. Just, ri just right here. Thank you. Yep. It's nice to see you here tonight. I'm glad you came. Everyone can stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're going to ask our two middle school students to stay up here. Okay. Thank Sorry, you. you have a Thank seat. you. You'll come up later. So, and I'm going to invite up uh, the athletic director here, uh, Steve. Good to see you. And uh, when I heard that. Uh, uh, Dakota and Abby won uh, a Seacoast um, track and field event, and I'm going to make sure I have this right. Well, who, sh who does the shot put? I think it's, uh, yeah, you. Dakota. Yeah, Dakota, <laughs> she does the shot put, and I think the high jump is Abby Brown, correct? And I was just so impressed that I wanted to invite you to the school board meeting so that you could be recognized because I really value individual sports. Not that team sports are important, but it's, it's you competing against others and it rests solely on you. So all the pressure is on you. And when I found out you were Seacoast champions, I, I thought you had to come here. We got to recognize you. So with that said, I invited our athletic director here to say a few words about you and how you did this year. And so pleased that all of you came out tonight. So I'm so happy and congratulations. And you're doing great things, and I know you're going to do great things in the future as well, not only in sports, but also academically. So, right. welcome. All right, so um, as the uh, athletic director at the middle school and the high school, as well as the high school track and field coach, I was super uh, I proud them. and impressed of these two athletes. Um, Abby, uh, she won the Seacoast High Jump Championship, and what is amazing about that is she probably practiced it six times all year because um, we just started, we just ordered all the middle school equipment and it hasn't, the high jump stanchion hasn't come in yet. So they got to come and practice with the high school team a few times, but not nearly as much as, as they will uh, in the next few years. But Abby jumped four feet, four inches, and that was not even a personal best and she still won the meet. Uh, so we're extremely happy with Abby. Um, and Abby's an eighth grader and will be an incoming freshman. Well, now she's a freshman now because That's right. her, she graduated yesterday. Um, and Nakoda is a seventh grader. Um, you know, Nakoda won the shot put. Uh, what's amazing about Nakoda, uh, track is a, is a game of inches. Like a lot of times the places are decided by just a couple inches here or there. Uh, Nakoda won the Seco championship by five feet from the wow. second thrower. Uh, she threw 26 feet, over 26 feet, and the next girl threw 21 feet. Um, and like I said, once again, we're extremely excited to have both these both these student athletes uh, come up in our program, and they represent Summersworth amazingly. Uh, I just we're absolutely super proud of them. You know, we're trying to promote them all over the place. Uh, it's just it's just amazing, and we you know we're looking for bright things from the future for these guys. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Okay. Where, where are they going? We say, we can, yes, absolutely. Board where, number Brown. Where are you guys going? <laughs> because <laughs> you get to hear accolades from the rest yes. of the board here. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember that I do volunteer for the, the track, so I am elated to see middle schoolers doing so well. I can't wait to get you on the high school program, as, as, as Steve can attest. So I just want to start off the congratulations that you're doing athletically very well. I presume you're also doing very well ac academically, and I'm so proud that you are um, just ex exemplifying what, what Summersworth is all about. So just want to say thank you, thank you again. 
Yeah, I just want to like, piggyback on that and say congratulations to you girls. That's amazing. Good job. I know that we don't here in Summer's Worth have all the equipment that you need, but you did a great job at, you know, finding your way and still conquering. We're working on that equipment, working on getting more. Yeah, so, okay. Well, con congratulations. Yeah, I also just want to say congratulations. I know Summersworth has a legacy uh, for its football teams, and so it's beautiful to see two young ladies on the track team making a name for themselves and going strong representing. So congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Um, I just think it's so cool. Middle school is such a weird time in people's <laughs> lives. And like that you two have accomplished so much while also just going through middle school. Like, I, I barely remember middle school. So I am so proud of people who like, look, you've, you've done such amazing things already just by surviving middle school. And then like also um, adding this accomplishment onto it. It's, it's pretty awesome. So congratulations. I just want to congratulate both of you. I know you both personally. Um, but you guys have accomplished so much. So keep up the great work, guys. Okay. You hopefully already know how proud I am of you as just a parent and just seeing you and those long track meets. They are long all. It is hours. And these students, I am like beaming at these meets because you do so well. You're such good. Uh, you have such great sportsmanship, patience, endurance. And I am like incredibly proud to be like a parent and to be a school board chair I'm like that's us that's <laughs> summer's worth look at them go and they're like you know they're like where do you practice I'm like we don't have a track and we are doing amazing so thank you for being such model hilltoppers this on behalf of the school board we are incredibly proud of you and have a great summer thank you <laughs> now you can sit down yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, um, now I'm going to invite up Miss Saya McKay and Steve, if you can come as well. Um, Saya, I sent an email to her as well as the other two young ladies and uh, was just so impressed with her winning the uh, NHIA Division Three high jump, and she's the champion, which is outstanding. And also, uh, she was a key member on the volleyball team. I went to a lot of the the meets and it just came up short in the finals and I did predict that Summers with Hilltop is going to take it next year with Sire on the team and all the other mm -hmm. wonderful young women on that team. So welcome. Steve, if you could say a few words about Sire, that would be greatly appreciated. No, absolutely. So um, this is Sire's second year competing in track and field and this is Sire's second year uh, qualifying for the New England Championship. She was this year's Division Three high jump champion. Uh, then she went on and placed fifth in the state um, at the Meet of Champions. And then she, this past weekend, she competed at the New England's at UNH. Uh, it poured when she jumped, so we're not going to talk about that. But, um, you know, extremely proud of everything Sai has accomplished. Like, and, and like we said, like literally this is her junior year. She did not do track as a freshman. Uh, she came out as a sophomore last year and has been to the New England's two years in a row, which means she's one of the top six in her event in the state of New Hampshire. Um, and that, just from having a gymnastics background, you know, and like you just talked about with volleyball, she was this year's player of the year in Division Three. Uh, she's a very well-rounded student. She's in National Honor Society, and you know, we could sing her praises all day. But I'm sure, you know, you guys see them. And oh, it's okay. Sing her praises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's on. It's, we're televised. Keep going. So, okay. Thank so. you. And any words? Oh. To, uh, I know oh, okay. you have some words. Sai, I am so proud of you. And full disclosure, I've been working with Sai on the high jump, and it's just been such a tremendous honor for me to help an athlete like you. Um, I know Steve didn't want to talk about Saturday and the rainstorm, but I do want to mention it because it illustrated in the adver adversity of your cluster of jumpers having to jump in a rain squall that was pelting sheets of puddling rain on your on the surface that while Steve and I were going in you know papa bear mode mama bear mode what can we appeal you know, you know discretion is not appealable a rule is appealable but anyway um, you on in comparison maintained your cool maintained your poise and your sportsmanship was just exemplary and I just want to I, I know that you were humble about how 
well-adjusted you were compared to me uh, on that day um, of not being given the same fair conditions to jump in. Um, but I just I want to just bring that out because it just illustrated just what a beautiful soul you are and you know congratulations on you know the accolades of being recognized today too thank you Sorry, I'm a huge fan of yours. I know, <laughs> like you've done so much. I think about back of your 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 gymnastics days of all coming in with like your sores on your hands, and then going into volleyball and all all the athletics that you do, and you do them so well. And your future is so bright. Like keep your head up and keep going. I'm super proud of you. So the first word that comes to mind is wow. You are amazing. Great job. Keep up the great work. And congratulations. Um, you know, I keep thinking about what the superintendent said about how individual sports are so um, worthy of being recognized as well. And and um, it's just such a testament to you of your ability to accomplish your goals in high school as a student, but also in individualized sports. It's such a mental thing. And um, I don't know, I'm just, I, it's, it's amazing. You're, I'm really proud of you. And congratulations. And Summersworth is proud. And it's awesome. Yeah, I also just want to say congratulations. I also did high jump as well when I was at the middle school. And I think it's a unique sport in that it's a sport where you're jumping into something you actually aren't like looking, where you're leaping and jumping backwards. And, and I don't think people talk a lot about vulnerability when you talk about sports, but in a way, self-independent uh, uh, sports where you're competing by yourself, it takes a lot of risk uh, to put yourself out there in these competitions. So it's incredible what you've done and, and uh, just congratulations again. Do you feel the whole city like backing you? Because this board absolutely does like more than proud, more than just, you know, um, I know you're like with humble with some things, but we're so proud to be able to do this, you know, to be able to explain how much um, support and admiration for you and how much we will just as this board, that's what we're supposed to, you know, that's kind of our charge is to be able to support our students and our school community and um, you're a model hilltopper. I think maybe that you've already gotten that award as well, but um, so just hopefully know that and pay it forward. I know you do already, Saya, and I know this is probably like the last thing you want to let everyone talking to you how amazing you are. Um, come back next meeting, bring some friends. We will do that as well, but we are so proud and the community is proud and you have the backing of our school board. So thank you. <laughs> Tough acts to follow there, I tell you. Uh, I'm going to invite up uh, Ms. Amy Pillsbury. Uh, she's our special education coordinator, and she was recently recognized as an emerging leader in the Seacoast region. If you want to come up with your, your son and your husband, that's great, and you can introduce them to us. No, he, he wants to sit back there. So I'm going to read to you a letter that uh, was provided to me from the New Hampshire Association of Special Education Administrators uh, on behalf of Amy. Uh, it says, uh, and this is from the executive director, uh, it says, congratulations on being nominated as the New Hampshire Association of Special Education Administrators, emerging leader representing the Seacoast region. On behalf of the association, we want to thank you for the dedication and leadership you have demonstrated to your educational community. A priority for our organization is to support the pipeline of new leaders, and we look forward to recognizing you at our June 14, 2024 monthly membership meeting. Amy came to me and says, do you mind if I go to this? I said, of course, go to this. And she goes, I can't go to the, some of the training on that day. I said, go get your award. Um, <laughs> at this meeting, we will be celebrating 20 years of the association as a nonprofit professional organization and paying tribute to special education ministers, past, present, and future. So I'm, and the rest of it's just logistics for the meeting. But Amy, I'm so proud of you. I've enjoyed working with you this year. And uh, you're, you are an emerging leader, you're a bright star, and I wish you great success in the future. So congratulations on this nice award that you received. Thank you. If anyone wants to say a few words, or we're all set. No, I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, go ahead, um, Sarah. 
I mean, I have worked professionally in many circumstances, and I know, you know, and not only from school board, but just in the educational community, and, and it's such a cool thing. Like, I've looked into special ed administration. It's a rough thing to do, and it's a lot of work, and um, the job of a special education administrator is really, really hard, and so thank you for doing that for us and for even doing it in other places that make my life easier. <laughs> so, but you've been a valued colleague, and I, I think this is incredible, so congratulations. I have to say this is amazing. Great job. Keep up the great work. Um, you're showing great leadership, and congratulations. Approval. I was just going to say, this is why I'm so proud to be on the school board. It's because of all the support that we have, and the exemplary is the word, word to use today, um, of the teachers as well and, and staff. And so I'm just so happy for you for actually being recognized for all of your hard work. So thank you. I want to thank you um, for choosing education as one of your life purposes. Uh, and including uh, students with uh, unique needs. Um, so thank you. We are so lucky to have you in our district. I think we understand that um, we've heard we've heard a lot. You know, this year was difficult. You went into a role that was increasing, we have increasing needs in Summersworth. And I think that there's such purpose in work, but there's also such purpose in recognizing um, our people and recognizing with um, pride and recognizing with a kind of a genuine um, gratitude. And hopefully you feel that today and more so on the 14th. And please let us know how it goes and update the board. And yep, board member Wentworth, a little late to the... A little, little late to the party. Um, I was at another sports event. Um, but I just really quickly, I know I kind of missed um, the shout out for Abby and Saya, but because I know both of you, I'm just so proud of you girls. And this is so amazing. And congratulations. And congratulations as well, Amy. And she's also congratulations to Dakota as Dakota. well. Dakota. Yeah, shot put. Yeah, sorry. Over here. Yeah. All right, can we... Yes. So one more. Yep. All right. And yeah, can we dismiss people? Yeah, folks can leave. Yes. That's fine. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure we'll students. Give some time. I'm sure the students have better things to do. Summer is officially here, and yep. uh, first day of summer vacation. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Be healthy. Okay, I'm gonna take the fuzz off of you. Oh, did I have a fuzzy? Yeah. No, I may have bumped it. Probably got it from my cat. Have a great summer. See you around. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I do kind of want them I didn't to see stay. John all the way back no, there. That's all right. That's all right. That's good. Well. Okay. That was lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to our people. All right. We'll move on to the agenda item number one. Any comments by visitors? I don't believe there are any. Any initial comments by board members this evening? No? Seeing none, we'll move to the consent calendar. Was everyone able to read the consent calendar? And do I have a motion to approve the consent calendar as adopted, as, a, as um, presented. presented? You have a motion from Brown <laughs> yes. to adopt the consent, to ca consent calendar as presented in our packet. Thank you. Second. Um, the only discussion about the uh, student enrollment, just because I wanted to make sure, I think that um, let's keep this on our radar to be able to kind of look look at student enrollment and maybe um, pair with the city about uh, looking at um, enrollment and data of school-aged children in Summersworth and kind of do a little bit of a, a concerted effort to be able to be on top of that. I know I've seen, I met with a lot of young families at the Pines for a community picnic and I was like, it looks like there's a growth in that area. So to be prepared with incoming kindergarten and as well as other um, grades, I think enrollment should be on our kind of our radar. Yep. We used to pay as a district to um, an a, a organization called NESDEC that would do enrollment projections for us. And um, we haven't done that in a few years. I think 2018 was the last time we did it. So maybe that's something the board might want to look into doing again. That'd be great. Yep. Make a note on that. Thank you. All right. Um, all in favor of the consent calendar adoption, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. All right. It's adopted. Moving to reports, I don't believe there are many to this evening. Um, our student representatives have a great summer. They're, yep. they're done. Last day of school. So we'll move with our um, superintendent's report. Yeah, I have um, just one item. Uh, tonight's my last official board meeting, and I just wanted to share with you some parting remark remarks. Um, I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve the school district this year. Um, our, our students finished their last day today, and I'm so happy they made it through the school year safe and sound. Always weighs heavily on my mind as a superintendent, and after I got the notice from the bus that the, the last bus cleared, I went, ah. <laughs> that made me feel really good. Um, the work here has been some of the most challenging and some of the most rewarding in my career, and that's why they call it work, I guess. Um, I learned the work life of an interim superintendent is much different than a permanent superintendent. There are, there are some differences. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your students. I, I found them to be very kind, courteous, respectful to me. They are diverse and accept individual differences. That's stellar about them. I, I just, you know, I've worked in a lot of districts, and it just comes naturally here for our students because of the diversity of this community. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed taking, talking with them, I'm sorry, uh, in classrooms, in the halls, at lunch, and at events. Summersworth has some of the best students I've ever worked with. I'm being totally honest with you. Some of the best I've ever worked with. It's nice to go out with that high. I wish them all the best. Um, you are also blessed to have great faculty staff, administrators, central office staff, and volunteers. The staff that I've interacted with care deeply about our students and are extremely dedicated people. When I think of your employees, I remember Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory. When I was in school, I always wondered, when am I going to use this? And I've used it a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to use it tonight. Um, your employees put students' physiological, which is food and, and, and you know, and safety and, and just safe environments, um, safety and security, love and belonging, and self-esteem needs first. They really focus on that. Um, this focus enhances learning as well as students' social and emotional well-being. Uh, your employees are laser-focused on supporting your students achieve self-actualization by uh, including teaching ethics and what is morally acceptable. Those, that's what gets you to self-actualization, folks. And also, your employees promote student creativity, acceptance, and in their inner potential, which I admire greatly. I have enjoyed working with all school board members on committees and at various board meetings. You have been very supportive of me, and I know that will continue with John Shea, your new superintendent. Um, this, is a, this time is really bittersweet for me. I will miss working here. I hope I have made a difference in a short period of time and left things better than when I arrived. So, my friends, thank you all, and God bless the Summers of School District. Thank you for this time. You're here. <laughs> Thank you. Madam Chair. You want to suspend rules? Yes, please. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. So this, I had this written up on my notes. I wrote notes today, people. I'm so proud of myself. Um, Lou, I wanted to take a minute to thank you for coming in um, during this time. It was um, a tumultuous time. It was a hard time, and it was not easy. So I, I wanted to say thank you for stepping up and stepping in and doing the best you can and managing the ship and, you know, I, I could see a difference when you when you came on, and I could see everyone like lifting up and feeling a, a breath of fresh air um, coming on. So thank you for your time. I know it was hard. I know it was challenging, but you did a great job, and I'm very appreciative. Thank you. Down the line. Okay. Go down the line. I don't know. This is hard, Lou. Uh, this is my first time being on the board, and you being a leader was amazing. Um, you've definitely showed me uh, what I needed to know. You're a great person. It's bittersweet because I hate to see you go. Thank you. Um, but best of luck to you. Thank you. Is your microphone on? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> um, now I'm recording. No, I've only known you a short time. Uh, but one, thanks for the advice, and thanks for being a model of a leader that as a special education professional, knowing like 
the road you have been on professionally, it's been inspiring to me and helped me look at my own career and leadership in a different way. So I really appreciate that. And um, I kind of see you as, like, in my mind, there's this, like, league of extraordinary superintendents that, like, go around and, like, help out districts in need, like Mike Powers and Kevin Murphy and you, right, Lou? Like, all of these wonderful people that um, show up just when we need them. And I think, you know, I imagine you as one of them, and I know you are. Um, so thanks for uh, letting me get to know you a little bit and for being here and showing me what this was all about in a way. Uh, like, you're the first superintendent I've worked with on any school board, um, but also, um, I don't know, a good, great working partnership here, but also just a great example of leadership in my life. So I'm really grateful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome. Can I go next? Oh my microphone is on. Yes. <laughs> and I, too, envision Lou with a little bit of a uh, Superman cape on. <laughs> but um, I do want to echo your leadership because you came in a time when SAU 56 was in need, and although we knew from our gut feeling where, which path we needed to go to, you were a beacon of light that illuminated that path with clarity, and I so appreciate that quality of you, your steady-handedness, um, your uh, fearlessness in vetting, and, and that's one thing that I appreciate in being on boards is the airing and vetting of viewpoints because ultimately when you have all those viewpoints and stakeholders at a table, you come out with a better policy project or pro uh, product. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated your ability to hold that uh, dialogue with people to, to vet all sides. So wholeheartedly thank you for taking us on. When you may not have, you know, have wanted to, but I so, so appreciate that the universe provided you with us mm -hmm. and you accepted at the time that we needed you. So Thank you. heartfelt thanks. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you take some time off and fuel yourself. I hear you're going on a little bit of a vacation. Mm -hmm. So I hope you truly disconnect and, and refuel because I feel like we've taken a lot. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lou. Um, yeah, so what a journey, what a fun, fabulous, nonstop ride of excitement it has been since you said yes to being here. Um, you know, it has, I feel like, um, you, at least for me, this is my second term, is it? Yep. Second term, um, being on the board, and for me, I've only had one certain kind of leadership and then you came in and showed me a different kind of leadership and the inclusivity the transparency the inclusion that I felt as a board member I is something I've never experienced before and from what I hear um was not present um and that is so like monumental in in me feeling not only that I can be a part of a board and make a difference but that I can be in the presence of what I'm making a difference for um, that I can be in the schools and I can um, remember the first day and we were um, I think miss uh, chairperson Larson and someone else we were like you came in and played some fun videos and like it was all this like all the staff from like every building and uh, I was like you know what here's someone who is like in the trenches with us who has not separated themselves to be apart from instead I felt like you were very much a part of and um this has been a crazy wild ride, and um, I am also, I would say, a crazy wild board person, and uh, I felt like you have always dealt with my really passionate um, antics in a great way, and um, I will certainly have a sifter later on for you. <laughs> So I am crazy and passionate, too, <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness. Right? Um, so, S Superintendent Lou, um, 
you came in, and I'll echo really what many have already said, that you came in during a complicated and challenging time. Uh, and to use the ship analogy, I think, you know, there's an old saying, um, I'm probably butchering it a little bit, um, but you know, anyone can steer a ship when the waters are calm. And they weren't when you came in. Uh, and so it takes a true sailor or a true navigator uh, to recognize that and to sail into calmer waters, right? And that took uh, skill, it took effort, it took passion um, for what you do. Uh, I, I appreciate the passion you have, I appreciate, I think, in some, the, 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 the pragmatism at times too, right? Um, and, uh, and you, you have made a difference in your, uh, s steady leadership. And, uh, and when I say steady, I don't mean that in sort of a flat sort of, you know, not making any, um, mistakes mode <laughs> way. Um, but I think you've helped lead us forward. And isn't that what we all want to do, right? To leave it in in better hands and, and to uh, to toss that 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 stick or whatever you call it you know, in the, to go along with the baton, the thank baton you, um, to the next person and uh, off and running. Um, so I'm glad that I got to know you a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, obviously, I'm also new, <laughs> um, but. Lou, I remember hearing way before I was on the board, you know, that the board had found a new interim person, you know, th through the grapevine. I, and I thought, wow, it's going to take, who, who is this person? <laughs> who would sign up for a job like that knowing it's not permanent and knowing they're walking right into conflict? Yeah. And when I met you as a new incoming board member, I was stunned. In, in your character and your your spirit and your gentility and humility and respect, not just for me as an incoming board member who has no experience, younger than most, don't have a child in the school district and you treated me like any other member of this team. Um, you've been patient, you've been kind. And then I, I remember the first board meeting I came to and one of the things you were bringing up was that you were really passionate that the band had uniforms. <laughs> and as an artist myself who went to these schools that didn't have a lot for the arts, I thought, wow, this, this guy's here for one year. Like he could just skate by, just bridge the gap to the next person. You didn't have to go above and beyond. You just had to like smooth it over till, till it, things healed. And I really have felt, Lou, that you have just gone so much further than anyone probably expected in terms of where we've come from and it's just been a pleasure getting to know you and you've taught me a lot about how this city can run and, and how we could uh, make it even better so thank you well thank you I it feels good to me that I'm still teaching so, anyway thank you for the kind words everyone I mean what a what a board yeah, Mr. Yeah. Kaczynski, what a what a what a purpose! What a what a purpose! And we can't control what happens, right? But we can control how we respond to it, and with love and purpose, and that fulfillment and respect and kindness, and that kind of come back to you tenfold in your life and your family. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you, with our gratitude. You know, it was something that maybe will to reflect. You know. It was such meaningful work and hard work, and I'm very grateful for all of you, and I'm very grateful that in your tenure you get this wonderful board to kind of be here to support you. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so that, all right. Stand up. I know, no one's here, but we're standing up. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. We're just in the middle of the meeting, but um, I don't believe we have a business administrator's report this evening. So, all right, Kate, and no, no city council update this evening. Um, the, um, it was suspending rules to be able to speak, but we'll just, oh, I don't think we have to make a motion to go back. We're, we're just gonna follow along. Um, 
uh, agenda item 4.5 was a before after school ad hoc committee update and the YMCA. Um, for the summer, I would uh, like to continue the ad hoc after school committee to get the data and kind of keep a close eye on the transition um, to the YMCA for enrollments and support. So currently it is um, uh, uh, school board member uh, Marsh and Councillor Cameron, who's also the chair of the Rec Recreation Committee, you know, for um, the city of Summersworth um, and uh, parents, you know, that, you know, community members if there's a school board member also that would like to go and maybe um, a city council representative or anyone else just to publicly put it out there we're we'll look for a meeting to meet um, during the summer and look at numbers enrollments kind of figures and kind of keep on top of that transition um, because it's clear that summers were citizens elected you know elected officials families support the well-being of, of the of our students and our kids so we want to be able to kind of I know summer's kind of the off season but to be able to kind of keep an eye on it and um, be supportive and be mindful of the transition and do what we can um, will we have anyone in on staff to to look over that transition I don't know if the um, Cody will still be on staff for the just to the rest of the month perhaps Okay, so maybe yeah, we, I asked him to be available to help to, to till the end of June, I think. Yeah. Right. Okay, so maybe towards the end of June. June. The so program ended today, so I don't think Cody that? goes after today. Oh. I, I I said I think Cody only went till the end of SYC, which was today. Oh, oh was it only right. today? Was stipend? But I'm like sure. I mean, I can reach out to him. Okay. Well, we'll look at whoever else yeah. to be able to help. You know, help with the transition. Help with eyes on, seeing our our. You know what their enrollments are for the YMCA and kind of just kind of keeping an eye over the summer. So I wanted to give an update for okay. that. Um, and that's it. Uh, standing committees. Uh, there's been no standing committee updates. Um, I would encourage kind of take a break and then look at your schedule for next year and reach out to me with any committee assignments or changes over the summer um, before August and we'll kind of look at that, you know, but no, no rush. Eyes on 30 committee. Um, Board member Soldati's anything? We haven't uh, met since the last meeting. So, okay, great. There's no presentation. There are no policies since we don't like to have those linger. Um, there's no new business. There's no old business. And our next meeting day is August 13th, 2024 um, here at City Hall. We would like to schedule uh, a um, board member retreat for, the, for early August, but TB to be determined um, that would not be a full day it would be a half a day um, somewhere in our city most likely okay comments by visitors any comments by visitors this evening comments by board members board member Clark I feel like I've spoken a lot today I apologize um, I wanted to congratulate the seniors on their great um, graduation there were so many great speeches um, so much music um, singing the band I'm so proud of all of these students and what they did and every year I cry I didn't have a student that was graduating this year I'm like I'm crying because you see these kids like grow up and you're like they're on their way and they're doing amazing things and um, I also want to congratulate the eighth graders who graduated yesterday, right? Nina, you're looking at me like, I don't know. Okay. Um, so that's amazing going into the freshman year. It's exciting. Um, and then the rest of the school left today. And I saw so many kids over at the ice cream shop. It was so, it was so fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's just great to see all the kids moving on. And this is why we do this. We are here. This is why I'm here is to, you know, help the kids and see them grow and flourish and do amazing things in their lives. And I also want to thank the teachers for all that they did this past year. I know it was hard and they did amazing. The staff, the maintenance, the all, everyone. Great job. And then my last was thank you to Lou. Bye, everybody. Thank you. I'll thank you again, Lou. But that is it. Thanks, guys. else over here all right anything over here we're all set healthy safe happy summer to everyone um are you, any other com closing comments by anyone nope yep congratulations class of 2024 class of 2028 has a certain ring to it it was i um handed out 
uh, 87 diplomas on Friday, and um, the best thing I could do is just kind of look at everyone, smile, and breathe, right? You know, the small things. We support as much as we can, but we, this is not it. Our families and caretakers and teachers and staff and everyone else there, this is uh, an early release summer, so please take care. We are grateful for you. And is there anything else from the board before we go into non-public? It's quiet. Everything seems very peaceful in time for June. Yep. With that, agenda item 13, um, we do have a non public uh, for 91A32A2C. Do we have a motion for that non public? It's on your agenda. Anyone? I can give it to you. No rush. <laughs> I make a motion that we go into non-public pursuant to the authority of RSA 91A3, Roman 2, subparts little a through c. I wonder if I have a second? Second. Okay. Oh, that was D. St. Croix. Okay. Um, uh, roll call, please. Maggie Thank Larson. You. Yes. Todd Marsh. Yes. Carrie Clark. Yes. Sarah Brian Hart. Yes. Crystal D. St. Croix. Yes. Marsha Brown. Yes. Barbara Wentworth. Yes. Gemma Soldati. Yes. Should John stay? Okay. Please we'll say. No, I mean, we're